Agenda 21 is dependent on the Hegelian dialectic, and that says that a crisis is created and a solution is posed, and the balance between the two then becomes the new normal. And the balance between the two then becomes the new normal, which is something that you never would have accepted. But now that there's a crisis, then you are forced or pressured to accept this new, this new solution. Now imagine a world where mass outbreaks of deadly diseases are commonplace. Well, it sounds scary, but that might not be too far off. The World Health Organization has warned in a BBC interview that we're entering a new phase where such a reality is, quote, a new normal. As the coronavirus pandemic brings life across the country to a grinding halt, Americans are facing a new normal. It is a new normal that we all have to get used to. I know a big question, Tom, from a lot of New Yorkers. When might we ever get back to normal? Uh, the mm -hmm. governor talked today about working toward a new normal. So we're going to a different place, which is a new normal. So, Bill, you know, here we are. Um, many people are aware that, that you warned of this in the New England Journal of Medicine and, and during a TED Talk just a couple of years back. So what do we need to do uh, right now in order to reopen the country to get back to, you know, some sort of normalcy and, and sort of set a new normal, whatever the new normal is? Well, I, I will say it's three phases. The acute phase we're in now, the semi-normal phase until we get a vaccine, and the semi-normal phase until we get a vaccine, and then the truly normal phase after the vaccine has protected all of us. Agenda 21 is dependent on the Hegelian dialectic, and that says that a crisis is created and a solution is posed, and the balance between the two then becomes the new normal, which is something that you never would have accepted. But now that there's a crisis, then you are forced or pressured to accept this new, this new solution. COVID is the world's new normal. from the United States, California. And uh, my topic, what I speak about, is uh, one of the most vitally important issues of our age, and that is United Nations Agenda 21, Sustainable Development. And uh, as I'll be talking about tomorrow, it is the inventory and control plan. Inventory and control of all land, all water, all minerals, all plants, all animals, all construction, all means of production, all food, all energy, all information, and all human beings in the world. And this is a plan that was agreed to by 179 nations back in 1992. It's a United Nations plan. It's called the Agenda for the 21st Century. And so many of us around the world think that um, well, sustainable development, it just sounds so great. Isn't it about recycling and creative reuse and, uh, and creating energy and food resources for everyone? And the answer is no, it really is not. It's about moving populations into city centers, concentrated city centers, and clearing them out of the rural areas. Hi, I'm Rosa Corey with Democrats Against UN Agenda 21.com, and I'm the author of Behind the Green Mask UN Agenda 21. And, um, you know, I'm always talking about how we have to be the resistance, and what does that look like? And, uh, you know, I think we need to start thinking about what the resistance looks like. And, um, you know, so you're thinking about it, and you think, well, getting out into the hills, on your land, with your shotgun. That's one vision, right? But it's likely a last ditch losing fight, with one exception. You know, believe me, I wish that it was that easy, because, uh, you know, hey, all of us think that way. If you're honest, you'll acknowledge that in the back of your mind, you hold that image as an escape route. It's sort of a classic 
anti-hero response, isn't it? Riding off into the sunset, heading west, young man, conquering space. You know, it's not bad in the short, short term. And, you know, in fact, this fantasy has its real world benefits. You can develop some sense of self-reliance, right? If you're willing to work hard and, um, you know, you can build a sort of a neo-agrarian, alternate, Edenic, intentional community kind of thing. Um, like in the Back to the Land movement of the 1960s or the early to mid um, 20th century Israeli kibbutz. You can, you can form a sort of a pseudo-socialist pseudo, pseudo farming collective or, you know, heck, why not go all the way Amish, right? Well, yeah, that can be good. Uh, you should be self-reliant and independent, but you can't hide. So while you're out on the land, doing your thing, the county planning department is implementing the regional plan that your taxes paid consultants to develop a few years ago. And in accordance with your city county climate action plan and dozens of programs that were developed with the junior college and local environmental non-governmental organizations, your options are narrowing. Your well is scheduled to be monitored so that your water use can be restricted. Your road access may be removed in conjunction with a land use plan that protects a salamander that seems to be under every rock that you look at. Your property taxes are increasing because your crop is not productive enough to change your designated use from rural residential to agricultural and so that your taxes can be lowered. Your, uh, your diesel tractor has been outlawed. You can't get a real estate loan uh, because your fire and disaster insurance premiums have skyrocketed and you can't pay them. So that means you have to pay cash for your property and you have no protection if there's a disaster. Rules, restrictions, penalties, fines, fees have blocked you from burning your wood in your stove, clearing your land of stumps and rocks, uh, paving or grading your driveway, building more than one house on your land, uh, without permits, building a barn without a permit, cutting down a tree, diverting water from the creek, um, putting a bakery on your property, uh, collecting rainwater, relocating the wild animal that's been killing your livestock. That's what's happening out there in the wild areas where you're thinking about going. So what's the answer? You know, I said that there was an exception and you're not gonna really like this, so I'm gonna set it up. The action plan, the blueprint, the agenda for the 21st century, Agenda 21, has been in the works for a long, long time. You might say it's been in development since the mid 1800s. And, you know, as with so many movements, it started with an ideology, it progressed to the universities, and it moved into political and social realms. And finally, it spread to every facet of your life to make binding policy. That's a long history to combat. Every year, it's more deeply entrenched. It's like pulling weeds to remove it. Weeds with deep spreading roots and persistent, persistent seeds. In fact, persistence is the motto for this Fabian Socialist movement. Slow, solid, persistent penetration into every part of physical and intellectual life. Combine that with the Nazi, Stalinist, Maoist dream of technological control. You know, then you're looking at an ideology that has been infused into all people, all of us, while we've been entertained and taught. Well, so what are we going to do about it? So just like that garden infested with weeds, even though it would have been better to kill the weeds sooner or to stop the seeds from getting into it at all, the work has to be done to eradicate it. But you know, we didn't stop the seeds or pull out the weeds. So now we have to take it back. Look around you. You're hearing that it doesn't matter who sits on the city council or the county supervisory board. You'll hear that you shouldn't have to go and beg these people to listen to you. But you know, I just told you that you can't hide. So you need to take over your government. When was the last time that you showed up for a city council meeting? Uh, do you even know what day they meet? Do you even know who's on the council now or who your mayor is? 
Uh, do you decide who to vote for at the moment that you're clicking the box? Have you ever been to a meeting, a city council meeting? If you did go, did you stay for the entire thing or did you leave after your item was heard? Uh, you left, didn't you? So um, do you know who is running your city and county governments? Are they sponsored and funded by Agenda 21 groups? I'll bet they are. We need less laws, less ordinances, and less control by long-term civil servants because they're the ones who stay for 20 and 25 years even after your mayor goes out of office. Those are the people who are instructing your city manager on how to make those rules and policies and laws that affect you. You know what? You need to recall city, you know, sitting local elected people. Block them. Don't allow them to take office year after year if they support managerial membership, your city council, your city manager, being a member of the International City Managers Association, or the United Cities and Local Governments, UCLG, or National Association of Regional Government, or ICLE, and countless globalist groups. You're probably a member and you had no idea. So, you know, you gotta educate yourself and you gotta show up and then you gotta stay there. Run for mayor or counselor yourself uh, or support someone who gets it and can be educated. That's what persistence is. Right now, you are a victim of it. My personal fear is that the globalist controllers will discover that they don't have to consider public opinion anymore and can just go ahead and shut everything down kind of like they just did. Be the resistance, weed your garden, show up and then stay there. Take 15 minutes of your day to be the resistance. You can do it. We're counting on it, aren't we? Thank you.